Welcome back, a new video about metal tackling of course and um, I'm sorry about the wind if you can hear it but uh, we're on a mountain of a hill as you can see uh, a very special location together with my brother of course and two other friends we're trying to find the evidence of the war here and a little bit about the history about this place um, in 1944 the Americans stationed on this hill for a period of two months and the Germans constantly attacked them so we're trying to find of course uh, relics, evidence of the battle that uh, happened here and my first signal just got in and as you can see it's this American pineapple hand grenade these are standard issues hand grenades for the American soldiers and this one is in very nice condition after so many years because there's still a little bit of uh, paint left but of course the fuse is in it so I'm going to leave it where it lies because it's still dangerous Maybe if I find an empty one, um, I take it home, but um, those are really rare to find, of course. But um, a nice first signal, of course, with uh, evidence of the war. So uh, maybe I'm finding more and I will uh, let you know. My brother just found this piece of uh, buckle, as you can see there on the end of it. And it's actually uh, part of the US helmet liner. Um, the front part, the triangle that you see would go in the liner, would go attached right there. And that's uh, the ladder from the chin strap. So that's very cool. Let's see if the liner is also there. And just underneath this rock, I just got a signal. And with the pinpointer, you can hear it clearly. A lot of uh, leaves are still on it, but I can already feel it. I just didn't need to take. As you can see, it's right here. It's a totally rotten American rifle grenade. Yeah, they're still dangerous, so I'm gonna leave them, but the condition is very bad. The rifle grenade is over here and I got another signal and I already can feel it and it's American uh, mortar laying together. I think uh, all the diggers left them here. I just, um, I just want to show you guys what I found and I'm going to uh, re rebury it. Alright, we just had to stop for digging because our friend yelled that he got something nice. And it's incredibly, as you can see, he found a first lieutenant bar. How cool is that? From silver, and on the back, the mark is still visible. It says Sterling, as you can see. Yeah, no, it's clear. That's just awesome. How cool is that? And again we found something amazing, just um, we are on the path and we are just following it, we are detecting a little bit and then we came across a big signal and it is this Panzerfaust, German Panzerfaust, how cool is that, it was uh, yeah, very deep, it's uh, hard to get out but we finally got it out and uh, we are going to clean it and then uh, I will show you uh, the result. We're assuming it's a Panzerfaust uh, Klein model. These are uh, smaller than the normal Panzerfaust 30s. But still uh, very nice to find. Just, just uh, on the path. We just were walking here and then bam. We cleaned it a little bit. 
and as you can see it's a Ponsifos Klein model it's still in very nice condition Just found some sort of tool, still no idea where it's from, it looks interesting, it's definitely from the war, because we're on a hilltop, where we're literally in the middle of nowhere, so uh, I hope I can find out what it is, I'll show you guys. Okay guys, I'm sorry for the wind, but I found something shiny, as you can see right over here, that is marked or inscripted. To know how to call it exactly, but I still have um, something in the hole, and it looks like a uh, watch. I'm not sure, so I'm gonna take it out and see it together. Yeah, it's a mini uh, watch compass. Oh shit, that's very cool. So, with the numbers, it backs also marked, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna clean it. Just clean it a little bit. Need to be careful. But here in the back, it's still marked. A Remington, if I'm correctly. And I don't know if you can see it, but under the cylinder, there is a name. There's a name engraved in the back. So that's really cool. Definitely for my soldier. So I'm really happy. This is probably the part uh, that you would close it. Right there, best on the back. So that's really cool. Okay, guys, so we're just digging underneath this very big rock. We're still on the hill. Not some very good signals in the foxhole or underneath the rock. We had some, some coal uh, shell casing and some um, ration openers. And then a deeper signal was right there. And this 10 Reichsfenning came out. It's not really in good condition. I believe it's in 1942. But still a very cool piece to find. We had some deeper signals right here as well. So we're gonna dig them out and maybe there's more coins in it, we know. <laughs> We've got a big signal in this hole and uh, we're trying to dig it out. And uh, we came across some other relics first. It is this shell casing and an M1 uh, Grand um, clip. Empty one, uh, yeah, some rust. This weird looking uh, round thing, I'm not sure what it is. If somebody knows, uh, yeah, please let me know. And I got here also a signal. And it's this weird iron thing, and I'm going to pull it out now. I'm very curious what it is. It's this weird looking uh, shape. I'm not sure what it is, but um, going to clean it a little bit. Oh, that's all. That's also from the Panzerfaust. Turn it around. You can see the holes over there. Is that from the Panzerfaust? Yeah. I do believe so. Well, yeah. yeah, a few holes here, here also. This may be the. Could be the trigger mechanism. Yeah. It? Yeah, I think you're right. A yeah, nice find. Nice. All right, guys. I'm um, in a foxhole, uh, underneath a yeah, sort of uh, encavement. Uh, I will show you uh, later when um, I'm out of the <laughs> hole. But we found a lot of shell casings and I got a really yeah, bad signal actually um, over here. So I started digging and I suddenly came across this um, RVS object. And I, I already know what it is because I can see it. I want you guys to see it also, this is uh, sort of a live dig, live dig, I think it's a spoon or a fork. It's a spoon, yeah. Wow, look at that. Amazing. It's and it says uh, US, right? Um, US spoon, RVS. It's awesome. Look at that. Nice. And here is the marking. Clean it a little bit. It's badly uh, visible, but as you can see, US, <laughs> awesome, 
this is a really lovely find. It's engraved here, yeah, as you can see. Yeah. A number, 51. 151, I think. Company number or something. Could be. Awesome. I'm really happy with this one. Nice. I will check um, if there's more in the hole and I'll keep you guys uh, updated. Okay, this just fell out of the uh, same spot where the spoon was. I just did, um, yeah, I grabbed uh, some sand with my hand and this came out. Yeah, you can you cannot see it very not good, but uh, it's also a spoon or a fork. But this one is from iron, so it's in uh, really bad condition, sadly. This is a, okay. a lot of rust, but um, to compare it with each other, okay, look. So um, I think the soldier had this uh, fox here to eat and he lost his um, cutlery. My friend just found some kind of bolt, no idea what it is, really looks like a uh, STG bolt. But I'm still not sure, so we're gonna need to do a little bit of research. That's, uh, that's really cool. Okay hey guys, so just a quick overview of the stuff that we already found in the hole. We're still digging in the hole right now, so... Um, first thing first is this Panzerfaust piece. It's the top part. So this will be the side and the trigger mechanism. Then we have this German... Kochkeschere piece, which is the bottom part. Very cool too. Of course we have the US spoon. Nice marking of US. And on the back it has, I don't know if you can see it, but it says sterling, stainless steel. And there's also some inscriptions on it. Really cool that one too. This is the American fork. You had a little bit of a clean up with this one. Still some stainless coming back there top part and the bottom part. This is a STG44 bolt. Very cool piece and a rare piece to find as well. We're not sure yet what this is. Maybe we will find out. Uh, we found a few American uh, M1 grind clips. Some in good condition and some not. We also found this American uniform button. It's still some writing on it. And there's also some cotton in between. I don't know if you can see that, but. And then, of course, we found the cup, no, the canteen lid. And inside there is still, I don't know if you can see it, uh, US 1943. No, focus, yeah. And in the bottom it says the marking from the production where it came from so yeah very cool pieces we're still digging in the hole so maybe there's more in there keep you posted